I've never read this book before, so we'll read it together for the first time. Mrs. Miller's Frogs. Written by Annette Miller. Frogs. I love frogs. Frogs in bloom. They live in my house in every room. They sit in the shower and on the bath. Their funny actions make me laugh. They sit up high. They sit down low. Sometimes they sit all in a row. These green tree frogs are marvellous creatures. They have so many wonderful features. Their legs are so strong, muscular and firm. Out of your fingers, they'll want to squirm. Their eyes are so big, bold and bright to give them the ability to see at night. They catch the mosquitoes with one big lick. Those mosquitoes that can bite me and make me sick. They hop around the house at night. They jump on my dogs and give them a fright. Sometimes they climb, sometimes they drop down on the floor with a very big plop. I leave bowls of water in the kitchen at night. Sitting together, the frogs make a great sight. Their skins need the moisture to keep them alive. They jump into the bowls. They take a deep dive. One day a snake came, came into my house looking for a meal of a frog or a mouse. A frog? Oh no, not the frogs I adore. Out you go, snake. Snake, right out the door. That snake, it came back. It came bolder and it became bolder and bolder. I found it wrapped around the toilet roll holder. To save my frogs, that was my wish. I took them out to the pond to live with the fish. But my frogs are my friends. We missed each other. Perhaps to them, I'm just like a mother. So back they all came from their house in the pond. Guess where they, I guess that's, I guess they, where there's love, you'll feel a strong bond. I did not read that one well. That's okay. I'm learning. When I thought about it, I had a good laugh as I pictured them all jumping back up the path. Back to the bath, toilet and shower, back to the vase with the big yellow flower. Yes, back to my home, my home and broom, where I live with the frogs in every room. The end.